Hello everyone, it's Teresa Wilson from Confessions of a Teaching Junkie here with a tutorial on how to create the end of the year word cloud projects that I made as gifts for my students. It's really easy to do and does not take a computer whiz to figure it out. Start by opening a Word document. Type in the text you want to include in your word cloud. Word clouds do not recognize spaces between words and count them as two or more separate words. So in order to get two or more words to stay together, use the tilde key located directly above the tab key. Simply type your first word, then shift tilde instead of a space and the second word. Word clouds also do not recognize punctuation. Some of them recognize upper and lower case and some do not. Begin by typing the name of your student or your keyword about five times at the beginning of your document. Word clouds count frequency. Words that appear with more frequency appear bigger and pop more in a word cloud. So for this project I wanted my students names to pop to be the biggest uh, image there on the word cloud. So I start with their name at the beginning about five times. Then I entered all of the words used to describe that person left by the classmates from the handout that I had given them. Once you've entered all of the text for a particular word cloud, highlight and copy Control A on a PC, con Command A on a Mac, and copy Control C or Command C on a Mac to copy your text to your clipboard. Next, you will place you will paste your text into a Word Cloud website like Wordle.net, Taggle.com or abcya.com for kids. These sites are basically the same, but each one has different features and effects that you can try out. I recommend that you play around on each one of the sites first and find the one that best suits your needs. For this project, I chose to use taggle.com because of the design options they offer that fit what I wanted to do. Once you have created your free account, click on the My Clouds tab to begin your project. Near the bottom of the page, click on the Create New Cloud link. My computer is slow. Once you have this, once this page opens, come on, you will click on the Appearance tab and select the shape that you would like for your uh, particular word cloud. For this project, I chose the cloud shape. On the cloud shape, and that's going to give me an, a, an example of what my, sh my overall shape is going to look like. Next, click on the Fonts tab and select three or four fonts that you like that you think will fit your project. And you select them by, by clicking or unclicking the radio button in front of the fonts and here it gives you different examples of what the the various fonts look like. So once you've selected your fonts, uh, now you're ready to paste in your text. So you go up to the tags source button 
and you want to clear the text and then click inside the text box and control V or command V to paste your text into the text box and you should see that all of your text has been pasted there into the text box and once you have that done now you are ready to visualize so you're going to click this red visualize button at the top and it is going to create the word cloud for you it takes a minute or two okay and you can click this visualize tab as many times as you like until you get a format or layout or design that you like you just keep playing with it until you find one that you like. Don't worry about the colors yet because you can change those. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. But okay, I like this design so now I'm going to go over to colors and animations and I am going to choose my colors. Now I'm going to select random colors if you want to use particular colors, then you can choose those. I just like to use random colors and you can add or remove colors by clicking these buttons here. And once you get some colors that you like, you can click refresh. And again, this, this time it's just gonna play the, with the colors for you until you get one that you like. If you decide you don't like the colors, you can remove them and add some new ones in. And you just play with it until you get a color scheme that you like. Once you get a design that you like with the colors that you like, click the Save Changes button and you're almost done. Once your changes have been select successfully saved, click OK. Next, you want to grab and share. You're going to save your image as your graphic as a ping image. It's just going to take that word cloud and save it directly to your desktop, to your hard drive, or to your flash drive. So I'm going to click Save Graphic Image. should get my save image here so I can uh, re I can name my file and save it to my desktop or my flash drive wherever and now you are finished um, then you can open up a PowerPoint or any kind of Word document or publisher or any kind of um, presentation document that you like. I'm going to use PowerPoint because I can print them out the easiest from PowerPoint. Like I said, my computer is really slow. And I am going to just insert my image from my desktop. Sure I am. <laughs> Doesn't want to cooperate with me today. And 
I'm just going to find my Gonna find my sample. There it is. No. Yep. I'm gonna find my sample picture. I'm just gonna double click it. It's gonna paste it in. Here I can resize it. Move it around where I want it. And there I have it, and I can print this out. Now for my kiddos, I added a text box at the bottom that had our school name, the grade, and the date, um, so that the kids would have these for um, a, a memory gift. I got frames from the dollar store, and each one of these, each one of my kiddos will receive this uh, framed, Wordle all about them with words that their classmates um, use to describe them. So I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this video tutorial. I hope that it's been helpful for you. Um, if you have questions or comments, uh, come visit me at confessionsofateachingjunkie.blogger.com excuse me, or visit me on Facebook. Look for Confessions of a Teaching Junkie. I hope to see you soon. Good night.